All right. Oh, that was a bust. <laughs> What's up, everybody? So, Dad and I are actually headed on our way to get rid of the 2013 Mustang project. Uh, it's been how long? Like six several weeks? Months. <laughs> several months since we uh, finished it up and uh, tied up all the loose ends. And so, we are actually heading to trade this for a 1990 Corvette. And so, uh, we've had it listed for sale for a couple different places and uh, had. I think three deals in total fall through. Someone ended up not being able to buy it or drove down like halfway and had something happen or whatever. And so. So you may be asking yourself, why would you trade a 2013 Mustang for a 1990 Corvette? Well, the 1990 Corvette, supposedly, we'll see when we get there, is a 35,000 mile original car with perfect paint, Everything works, um, driven rarely through its life, set in the garage. The man that owned it died, um, left it to his son, who was like six foot four, 300 pounds, and couldn't get in the car, and so sold it to this guy that we're buying it from, so, or that we're trading it from. We're trying to do an even swap. So we'll see how it works and if it happens, and guys think that's a good idea it's an automatic which I'm not crazy about um, but at least it will uh, give us something else to, to trade for and, and I like classic cars so the C4 most people don't think is classic yet but I think it's getting there and it's still a Corvette so so why are we selling this car in the first place since it was supposed to be Mark's daughter's it's because Mark's daughter decided she did not want to drive a stick shift so we're about 10 minutes out from looking at this Corvette and uh, we're doing a little bit of road research, which is always a good idea to do if you're ever going to buy a car that you don't know that much about. And we've discovered that the uh, 1990 Corvette we're going to get actually has 50 less horsepower than the uh, six cylinder Mustang we're trading in for it. So um, this has 305 and a 1990 Corvette base model has 250, right? Yeah, yeah. So. Um, I'm sure the Corvette probably weighs a lot less, but I just thought that was funny. I don't, I don't know. It's pretty long. It's, it's pretty fiberglass. Long. So, well, uh, next thing you guys should see would be the uh, Corvette rolling up in your viewfinder. So, play that now. All right, rolling up on it. There she is. This guy said this paint is a 10 out of 10. And so we're going to see whether or not that's true. 12 seconds later. As you can tell, we're still in the Mustang. The uh, I will give it to him. The paint was great. Uh, was but it that a 10? was no, it was not a ten. I'd paint. say it was probably a strong eight, maybe a seven. Uh, but that was, I think, probably where the good things stopped. It uh, had a really weird idle. Uh, it was kind of cutting in and out. Uh, we saw some some corrosion under the seats. Uh, none of the seat switches worked at all. Looks like it had some kind of weird electrical issues like it had been left out in the rain with the top down. Um, it was a convertible. I don't know if you could tell that from the first video I got of it, but. Um, had an airbag light. They, they only had a driver's side airbag in 90, I think, and it had the airbag light on. So that could have been a major problem. Uh, Wait, the, uh, the convertible top, we could not get down you ended up climbing in there and pulling on the cable in order to get it to actually pop yeah, the... I think it just needed adjustment, but still. So... he said everything was, you know, A number one perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everyone's everyone's version of perfect is different. I mean, some people's version of perfect is it, it starts up and drives. So, I mean, uh, we, didn't, we didn't think it was worth the, the same price as the as the 13 Mustang here. I mean, the interior of this thing is immaculate and the paint is a strong eight or nine. So, and it starts up and... I mean, we don't have any we don't have any issues with this car, so we're gonna keep on looking, and hopefully, we have a cash buyer come along. Or or we have someone wanting to trade something better off. So, there it 
think we're going to leave it off there. Thanks for watching. Even if we couldn't get rid of this thing, we're going to make it worth the trip. <laughs> 2,000 years later. Well, here we are again. So we are on the way to get this thing sold again, hopefully. Uh, Dad's in the Mustang and I'm in the Escape. And we are headed to Kentucky. So Dad's been talking to a guy for a couple weeks now about trying to get this thing. And uh, finally got some of the final details worked out and then we're on our way to meet him. So hopefully everything goes well. We'll keep you guys updated along the way. Hey guys, we're in Sykeston, Missouri right now at 74 Auto, and it's kind of like a rebuildable, uh, they have rebuildable inventory. Looks like they bought most of this stuff from Copart and uh, and maybe uh, some of the other insurance salvage places. But man, they're just lined up all over the place here. Lots of trucks. Uh, this is, could be one of the options of one of our next builds. You know, we can come here and buy stuff instead of going through the uh, auction process you can buy stuff here just just at a direct price and they can take care of all the paperwork and stuff you don't have to worry about whether you're in state or out of state and all that so let's look at see see if we see anything interesting here I, we saw one uh, Corvette Grand Sport over there and we've seen some pretty cool trucks there's an Alfa Romeo car so let's just kind of walk around and see what we see look at the size of these things compared to that <laughs> He has to like stand on his tiptoes just to look in the engine bay. I'm 6'9". It's a uh, 2010 Grand Sport. It's uh, got how many miles with it? It's got 60,000 miles on it. 60,000 miles and they're asking like 19,000 for it. And it's a 2010 but it is a Grand Sport. It's also a 3LT package so every bell and whistle you can possibly get on a Corvette in this time period it's got. But the bad thing is automatic so that kicks it out of my desires. We have a Toyota Prius. It's got that blue circle so that means it's high tech. We got to get one of these and restore it and sell it for like, I don't know, two grand. So here is a Cadillac CTS-V. This would be so much fun to rebuild. Major rear end collision. A chunk of the bumper is missing. Hey look, four mats. Smells like it has water damage. Right next to it, we have a, a C5 Z06. Um, I think I was looking around on their website a while ago. The interior on this thing is gone, but uh, maybe it's been stripped or something. Probably stolen. It's really good shape though. I think that was the only thing wrong with it was the interior was gone. Dad says, come look over here. Oh, snap. What do you guys think? <laughs> New project for the channel right there. Absolutely. Look at those side pipes. I bet you this thing has probably drove two times before somebody wrecked it. Man, the steering wheel's ripped out of the... <laughs> oh. 5.0 in it. That's a Fox body engine. Interesting. Cool pink, pink scheme though. I like the blue with the white. Or white with the blue. It's out here in the rain. Do we, do we walk right past this other Corvette right here? Hey, this is a Stingray. C7. Black with like a reddish maroon color. This in the front bumper. I don't even see any impact. Do you? This just looks like the front bumper's missing. Oh yeah, I see a little part of the... I had to rip off the tire blast. Yep. Is it unlocked? It's all these electronic opening things. Well, the battery's dead, so if you can't un 
unlock them electronically, then you can't really get them with the car. Looks like we have a the manual or a automatic. There's a there's the gap looks funky here. So it looks like this has been shoved back into the yeah car. That's no big deal. But it's, uh, yeah, every it's Corvette we've seen here has been an automatic. It's got one. It's got the bone airbag on the steering wheel, but that's it. Yeah, everything else is good. So probably runs and drives just fine, just has a little bit of body damage. I don't know what year it is. So here is yet another Corvette. Hey, this one's a... Automatic. <clears throat> Why does everyone buy automatic Corvettes? And then what I'm actually interested in, I saw earlier, We had talked about getting a Raptor, and this is the this is the one you want because it's a six point two liter. But man, I don't think Dad could even put this in a shop to work on. <laughs> These things are massive. Go hey, go stand next to that. Yeah, looks like it's got some mileage on it though. This stuff's kind of faded. So. LS3 badge on the side of it. I don't think I've ever seen that before. No. He asked if it was a ZR1. Guess what, boys and girls? It's an automatic. Rear end collision, looks like. And possibly side as well. Yeah. Yep. 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 Whole side of this thing is gone. Someone put some aftermarket badges on there, looks like. Why you do that, but teach their own. So we're leaving 74 Auto. Pretty cool place. Um, definitely think that we're going to probably get it, be getting our next project car from here. Um, it's so much more convenient that dad can come up and look at cars before we buy them in person as opposed to trying to gauge what's wrong with them from photos. And so, uh, we might be coming back up here again sometime soon whenever we get the 66 sold and all that kind of stuff and starving to death we've been on the road for three hours so two hours later so here we are 15 hours later back at home and uh, got the car sold and uh, had some fun road tripping and got to go see some cool stuff and we've got one car down and a couple more to go before we get to the next car next project more to sell anyway thank you for watching this uh different and unusual video hope you enjoyed thanks for watching see you later do you have any questions about this week's video do you have an answer to one of the questions we asked leave a comment down below and always remember don't retire it if you can rebuild it see you guys next week after this video make sure to check us out on instagram where we post behind the scenes photos sneak peeks giveaways and information for future projects Thanks so much guys for tuning in and watching this week's episode of Rebuild It. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any awesome content. Have a good one.